Hey, welcome back to Animator Artist Life. I recently released a tutorial on how to do motion design inside Unreal Engine. So I wanna create a separate smaller tutorial on how to create the glowing emissive materials inside Unreal. We're gonna go over the settings, how you can create multiple instances to create different colors easily. Also, how they can emit actual light to affect your environment and static geometry. Okay, so I've got a simple scene here I've set up for this tutorial. I've got an abstract piece of geometry. I've got a sphere in the middle, and I've got a plane on the floor just that we're gonna to use to just pick up some reflections. So how do we create our materials? First of all, we need to create a, a glowing master material. So we're gonna to go to your um, content browser. I've set up a folder for this particular tutorial. I'm gonna right click, go new material, and we're gonna call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine um, glowing uh, master underscore material. Hit return, there it is, there's nothing plugged into it yet. So double click will bring up our material editor. And here's our node here, our main node. And we're gonna create a color to pump into the emissive color. Um, so if you hit the three key and then left click, you'll bring up a, a constant three vector, which we can choose our color. Now we don't need to choose the color yet because we're gonna do that in the material instance. I am then going to right click and I'm going to convert this to a parameter, which we can then use to talk to our instances. So let's call this something like um, emissive uh, color, something like that. Now you could have brought up a, um, a parameter this way as well. You can right click and search for param, the word param, and bring up a vector param, and it's the same way of getting to the same goal. If I just delete that, we don't need that. So I'm gonna I, I just click on the top little dot here. I'm gonna click and drag and plug this into our emissive color. So now we need a parameter, a value we can plug into the material to show how strong the strength is gonna be, how glowing it's gonna be. So if you hit the S key and just give one little click, you'll bring up your parameter, and this one we're going to call, um, emissive strength oops if I can type and we're going to plug this into a multiply node and to get this up you could have also right clicked again there's always two ways of getting things typed in scalar and um, uh, scalar parameter and there you go you could have had it there so we're not just going to plug this straight into anything we're going to actually multiply it now so to get a multiply node all we're going to do is hold down the M key and click and we'll get our multiply node so from here, we're now gonna change this connection. Instead of going straight into the emissive, we're gonna plug this into our, uh, sorry, from here into our A, and we're going to delete this connection, which we don't need. So you can just go break links. So if you do um, accidentally plug it into the emissive instead of the multiply, you just break it and, re and um, rejoin it here. And then this one goes into B. And then now we can plug the multiplication of both of these into our emissive color. Now the emissive strength, we're gonna leave at a default of a zero at the moment. And like I say, our color, it doesn't matter what it's gonna be because we're gonna set that in the material instance. So that is our master material set up. And now we're gonna just click save and go back out to our content browser. So now instead of applying this actual master material to our geometry, now we're gonna learn how to create instances of the material. What you do is you hover over, right click, and go create material instance. Now let's give this a name. Let's so you know you can call it the color or whatever you're gonna have. So let's maybe call this blue glow material, something like this. So now we're gonna double click this and bring it up. So now you can see the editor opens up in this window instead. So here are parameters that we've set up. You can here, you can say emissive strength, and let's set this to something like two or three, and the emissive color, turn this on, and just click the little slot, and we'll choose a nice blue color. And as you can see, it's already glowing. Um, let's go for something like a blue like this, click OK. And there you go, that, that's it, it's easy as that to set up. So you can see you've got your strength. The more I dial it up, the stronger the strength goes. Now. You're gonna to have to play with this depending on your scenario, but it's it's good not to blow it out, go too much, because I'm also gonna teach you a way to be able to set um, the emissive boost a, a, on a per geometry basis. So let's just set this to something like three for now, and then we're gonna save, and out we go back to our content browser. I'm just gonna close this window. So now you can see, now we can create multiple uh, different colors. So let's create another one. Let's go, um, Create material instance, let's call this, say, red glow. And easy as that, so let's do double click, open it up, turn on both of these, 
give yourself a strength value, click on the color, let's go for the red, I think we called it, and click OK, and save, and close the window, and there you go, you've got two materials already. Let's create one more just in case, so let's do right click, go to create material instance, glow yellow material, double click, um, give, turn these both on, um, give it a color exactly the same again, Let's go for something like yellow, something like this. Um, give it a strength of three again. And there you go, it's glowing. You can see it update here. Click save, close down your window. And there you go, that's how you create your materials. So you've got them all here. You can, you can create as many as you want and then you can easily go back in and update the strengths. And you can also go back to your master material to edit it at any time you want. So now let's go over the scene setup and things we need to do to be able to get the glowing emissive colors to actually work. Let's color our, our geometry. So let's pick our abstract geometry and maybe go for the blue. Let's just, I'm just gonna drag this on and click the blue. So you can see the glowing um, is already appearing but it's not actually glowing from our scene yet. So now let's pick the sphere. Um, let's try say the red one and color that, okay. So as you can see, it's, it's glowing, it's emissive, but it's not actually giving that sort of halo, that glow effect. And that's because we need to set up our post-processing volume. What I'm gonna do, first of all, is I'm gonna get rid of the lights that we do not need. We, do, we, we don't want these in our scene at the moment. So let's click yes to all, just to remove them. And I'm also gonna remove the, um, the sky sphere. Let's get rid of that, we don't need that for now and our atmospheric fog, we can get rid of that. So as you can see, now we've just got our uh, just empty scene with, with, with no lights at all. So what we need to do first of all is create our post-processing volume. If you go up to search classes and go up to just type in the word post, it'll come here. So let's just drag it into the middle and I'm gonna go over to our transform control and we're just gonna reset this back to zero, zero, zero. At the moment, the, the post-processing volume is confined to whatever's just inside this box. I find it useful um, on most scenes to be able to make this infinite bound so it extends the amount of your scene and, and beyond. Let's type in the word infinite here and just click this, infinite extend unbound, and that will have the effect to the whole scene. Now there's one important setting to get this whole thing to work and it's the bloom. So if we type, um, select your post press and volume here, type in bloom or scroll down to it and we need to activate the bloom. Let's just turn on method and then intensity and then maybe push up our intensity and there you can now see it starting to work. There's the glow, okay? So with the bloom, um, you don't want to sort of blow out your scene, um, you know, so, so play with these settings, how, mu how, how strong you want it. So you might want to say, first of all, go back into your, let, let's say the, the blue material, let's open up our blue instance material. And let me just shrink this window down, because the other beauty about having an in, in material instance is, is that it updates live in our scene. So say for example, we wanted to change the color, you know, you can see it change live here in front of your eyes. So let's just change this back to blue. I'm just gonna cancel that. And if I pump up the strength, you can see it sort of, the bloom gets really intense. So, you know, if you put this up to something crazy like 100, it would really sort of blow out your scene. It might be that sort of effect you want. Now for the motion design in Unreal uh, tutorial I did, I did have this quite high because there was no environment, there was no characters, no walls or anything that was being affected, so it didn't really matter. Um, so that's something to consider. So, you know, you might want to take this down to sort of 20, it's still tucked um, quite a lot, or three, um, as we had it before, it, it, you know, isn't that much effect. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna cover a way of, of we can we can boost this um, without affecting this. Um, I'm just gonna close this down, so I'm gonna cancel this without saving, and we're gonna go over a little setting called Emissive Boost. So we haven't actually baked our lighting yet. We need to bake our lighting to get a true representation of our lighting. Now I know we don't have any lights in our scenes, but we are using the emissive materials as lights. And obviously we've got this white floor at the moment, which isn't, isn't true because we don't have any lights in the scene. So let's go up to, let's then bake our lights. Let's go up to build and lighting quality. I'm just gonna set to medium for now and just click build lighting only and let that run. And there we go. So it's built, um, as you can see, we've got some, 
uh, you just just that material I made on the floor just to just pick up some reflections and obviously the scene is now black and we can see our glow um, you know a, a lot more a lot more accurate okay so what we want to do now is look at this emissive um, a strength attribute that we've got on the actual geometry. So if you click one of your pieces of geometry, I'm going to go for the abstract for now, and I'm going to go to the search details and type in emissive. And what you do is you'll get your down to emissive boost. Um, so as you can see from here, we can boost how emissive our material is, and we need to obviously bake before we do, um, after we do that. So let me let me put this up to something high like ten hit return obviously you don't see anything now you need to bake again so let's bake again and see the result build lighting only and you'll notice it hasn't had any effect again that's because we need another setting on if you look over here you've got use emissive for static lighting this needs to be checked to work with emissive boost what the emissive for static lighting does is it actually turns our geometry into a light so instead of just glowing and having no effect on what's around it it will actually light um, things that are around it so you can use these for sort of glowing strip LEDs um, all sorts of things so let's 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 bake again I'm just going to hit build again and there you go you can see it's had um, 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 quite an effect there so let's just do something a bit more dramatic 100 and bake again just to see the difference there you go really sort of glowing strong so you can use this in conjunction with your um, your actual uh, emissive strength your bloom on your post processing volume or the emissive boost on your um, on your actual geometry and now I'm just going to show you a quick example of, of, of sort of an environment and how the um, use emissive for static lighting affects that okay one last quick example of an actual room so we've got this sort of uh, box here um, with our abstract geometry and our sphere inside at the moment we've got you, you cannot see the walls inside because on our geometry we do not have use emissive for static lighting selected we don't have any emissive boost and the same for the sphere so now if I go and turn use um, emissive for static lighting and I do the same for the sphere and we do a quick bake again there we go now you can see it's actually lighting the interior of our room and it's actually made it really bright so you know we might not need any emissive boost or we might want to say go to our our bloom let's have a look at a look at our bloom and you know just just try and get the best for your scene every single scene is going to be different so if i put the intensity up or down i mean it was quite good at 0.5 or you can open up your material and we can um say go to our emissive strength to get some more of that 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 heatness in you know you know it really is um up to you to try so let's just go out of out of here and now let's try um upping the uh, emissive boost to see what we get here we go so let's I like, take the emissive boost up to 10 um for the um for the one on the inside let's do it for the one in the middle as well just experiment and see what we got here we've got a lot of light coming up and spreading around this room now and let's do another bake and there you can see it's completely blown out the room now it's really bright so you can see how you can get you know all the different sort of styles the strengths to mix in your scene um, so hopefully that's really helped we have covered how to create the emissive materials the settings the material instances and also being able to delve into the emissive boost and the use for static lighting to light up your scene so you might have um, you know a kitchen scene or an interior scene and you might want LED strips over the top you know you might you don't have to use a spotlight you could actually use a glowing um, just a strip a polygon strip and use it to actually just light that small area of your scene so that's it for emissive glowing materials in Unreal Engine. Have fun with it, make things glow, light things up, and don't forget to check out my other tutorial on doing motion design in Unreal Engine. I'd appreciate if you could subscribe, share the video, and like, and I'll see you next time.